I don't know how to set my prices. Is this what you're saying to yourself or thinking? It's one of the main reasons people struggle with pricing. It comes down to doubt. It's important. If what you think and tell yourself is this, then even when you set a good price, you won't truly believe it. You'll waste energy and time every time you're doing pricing related activities because of this conflict you feel. And when a customer asks you what you charge, you'll struggle to stand behind your prices. Hi, I'm Janine, the Pricing Lady. In an earlier blog, we looked at the top reasons people struggle with pricing, and this one's right towards the top. We're going to tackle it two ways today. First, let's gain a little perspective. Many businesses waste their time and energy in search of the perfect number. Why do I say waste? Well, there's two things I know about pricing for sure. One is that no matter how low you set your price, even zero, there will still be customers for whom it's too expensive. Next, you can set your price very, very high. And as long as you're delivering the value, there's someone who will recognize that and buy it. Of course, your job is to find that person, however difficult that may be. And it may just be one person. My point is that the price can be anywhere between zero and infinity. This is a huge range, and finding a single point in that range is like, well, finding the proverbial needle in a haystack. What I'm saying is stop worrying about finding this perfect number. There isn't one. It's not like the movie Field of Dreams, build it and they will come, or in this case of pricing, set it and they will buy. There's no single price out there that will make customers buy from you. There are a lot of right prices, and depending on who you're targeting and what you want to do in your business, what's most important is that you're purposeful. You set prices that support your business and your ability to serve your customers best. The second way that we tackle this problem is by understanding where to start when we do set prices. Now, most people, without knowing any better, start with either their costs or the competition. And they do this because somehow it feels easier or more known. The risk with these two methods is that we simply set the wrong prices. For example, when it comes to cost plus pricing, Think about the last time you bought a pen. Did you actually calculate how much you thought the manufacturer paid to actually build and produce that pen? Well, of course you didn't. Almost none of us ever do. And if that's not important to the customer's buying decision, why would you base your price on it? You shouldn't. Now, profitability checks must be made, but costs shouldn't be the basis of setting your prices. When it comes to competition, the situation's a little bit different. What usually happens is we include two very faulty assumptions. First, that the competition's prices are actually correct, and we have no evidence of that. Second, we leave out an understanding of value. If you simply price yourself 10% below the competition without looking at value, you may be grossly under or overpriced because price is only relevant in the context of value. Market position must be checked, but again, it's not where pricing starts. The point here is to start your price setting with an understanding of your customer, who they are, what's important to them, what's painful or what they desire, how they make buying decisions. The more you can get into their psyche, the more insight you'll get into what exactly to offer and how much they're going to be willing to pay for it. There you have it. You know now that there are many prices that are fit for you and your customers. And these are what you should be searching for, the ones that help you serve your customers the best. And second, you know that when it comes to setting your prices, you need to start with an understanding of the customer. When my clients start working with me, they often say, my prices aren't right yet, but with the pricing lady, I'm learning to set 
better prices. If you're thinking your prices just aren't right, then it's time to make a change. Go to thepricinglady.com to learn more about how you can work with me and improve pricing in your business. Until next time, enjoy pricing.